Hi, I'm Evan Fantasi. Today we're going to talk about Q-Show hacks. Now, we just went through a series um, with the 6G hands and the torquing of those hands to get into the real anatomical structures and past these surface structures that sometimes block what you're trying to do. Now, the second Q-Show hack would be understanding that Q-Show is not pressure points. Now, I hammered that through all the way through the, the 6G hands series, and you're probably sick of hearing me say it from those videos and from prior videos ad nauseum. But again, people are resisting this information. The idea is Q-Show is not pressure points. Pressure points are, are man-made um, theory and objects. You can't really take uh, a pressure point. There is no real structure of a pressure point on a human body. There's no real meridian on a human body. You cannot dissect it, as I mentioned in those videos. If they're not real, then why are we wasting our time trying to target them? Once you learn the underlying structures of the skin and the muscle and in between bones and tendons and ligaments, and really see that the Q-Show was built upon um, nerves, blood vessels, organs, and many other internal real anatomical structures that have physiological effects on the human function. And that's what I've been hammering for the past few years and trying to get people to understand. So to hack your Q-Show and to make your skills to a, a much higher degree, start remembering to look at anatomy books, not pressure point books. Throw the pressure point books out. Well, don't throw them out. I mean, they're good for healing. Um, uh, acupuncture, acupressure is working on the, um, the, the, the pressure points that are in the fascia. Okay, they've mapped out a set of fascia or trigger points uh, is a more modern uh, technological term for it. These trigger points will release certain muscle constrictions. These muscle constrictions are what cause pain, stress, uh, and, and, and function problems. Now, you're not going to cause a function problem by hitting a fascia, okay? You're going to cause a function problem hitting a nerve or a blood vessel or an organ, as we have discussed earlier. So your first Q-Show hack is um, understanding that uh, pressure points are not the working mechanism. The real anatomy of the human body is the working mechanism. The second hack was the 6G hands and their torque, how to get into those um, separate structures and how to get into the, the nerves, the blood vessels, the organs to cause your damage. And in the, the process, you're using much less strength, you're using uh, much more um, energetic transfer because of the, the rotation of the hand as opposed to the linear um, ballistic force. And as we age, our force goes down, our ballistic force goes down. And you can try and keep yourself in as good a shape as you can, all right, but it's still going to decrease with your muscle mass, your bone density, your size, your physicality, your speed, your agility. Many different factors come into play as you age. However, you can still get the torque in, involved in uh, attacking the inner anatomy of another human being. And it will stay with you more powerfully than your physical prowess that diminishes rapidly after you uh, reach the ages of maybe 40, 50, 60. They di differ on different people, okay? Different people age at different times. It depends on your lifestyle, it depends on your training. So again, first hack is learning that Q-Show is not pressure points. Look back at the old founder's notes, they didn't talk about them. Second hack is working with the proper tools, the 6G hands the of Shaolin the six energy hands and the torquing energy that you throw into it. We'll be back later with uh, more Q-Show hacks so you can understand how to cut your learning time down in Q-Show and uh, develop a much higher degree of skill.